Oh right everyone, welcome back to another Road to the Show episode, episode 51 I do believe. We have 51 episodes in this series, it's crazy actually. Trevor Story's on the Cubs? Ha! He, he didn't play in the other two games, that's weird. So many trades, it's weird. Like a ton of trades happen off, like in this Road to the Show, like they like... Hey man, up we'll the, look at it, up the really trades, I think, so. Four seam slider change, two seam. That is destroyed. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? What is happening? It's our... We... I, I think we're on a home run game hitting streak. We've hit one every game this series. I think we might be on like a four game home run hitting streak. We're, we have 13 home runs. We're like second on our team in home runs, and we've played like 20 games. This guy. He's hit three home runs already in the series. Yeah, I'm not it's sure crazy. They need to see, but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to right now. It was like a low slider or something. We just destroyed it. 421, 105. That is crushed. My goodness, and it's 1-5. Okay. Obviously, our, uh, our pitcher's having a rough day. Oh, well. Yeah, well, what is that? That's a changeup. That was a changeup. Yeah, he wasn't fooled at all by the changeup last time. Kept his hands back and I'm like, absolutely destroyed. Really? I thought I hit that a lot harder. I think he's not going to hmm. see a changeup in this scenario right here. In time to first in their own And now here is um, Lorenzo Quintana. I like all the big scoreboards or like the scoreboards you can see when you're batting just to see yeah, your stats. I think it's really cool. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. <sighs> and you're there. One hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. 6-1 now. That's top. Got story up to bat. I'm going to stick up our pitcher's head. Is he, he's going three. Are you stupid? There's no way we don't get him, right? Yes. Okay. That was way closer than it should have been because he was just rounding second when we threw that. And that should be like a super easy out. But. Oh, we are just underneath that. Just barely. Darn. Darn. Could have capitalized on that. 1-7. They just keep telling on runs. It's also really cool, just the center field aspect of this. And let's go to the cut. I don't really know where we're well, we're throwing it. We probably could have thrown it third, but. It's really cool in center field. You can see, like, you know, the backdrop and everything, like the the uh, press boxes and stuff. I think that's really cool. The sweets. Not too many sweets here. Well, there's some in there. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Number two is there. There's probably is a lot of sweets in this hard to see. I saw a bunch in that one row, but. So all those like glass windows are probably sweet. The black windows. Yeah, it's are just let's just forfeit. That should actually be a thing where you could forfeit. Like so you could save your pitch your bullpen or something. Like you're down like this, it's the seventh inning, a coach could be like, Okay, we forfeit. Save your pitchers or something, I don't know. Sink or forcing change curve slider. Okay. Oh, I was not really, I was not really paying attention if I'm being honest. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is you, I don't like these shadows. The Start to see the ball. And this misses the Sometimes it's worse though. Like some stadiums, it's just like horrible. Like Angels, the Angels stadium, it's so bad. Ooh, that's a good pitch. It's so bad, yeah, at the Angels. It's just like, I can't see the ball at all if the sun's like right there or something. These shadows kind of suck. We lasered that. Look at that, that's like below the middle of the PCI, that's kind of stupid that the sun hit, but I don't want it to carry like that. We get a lot of hard hit balls like that that just aren't hits. That seem to be hits for everyone else. Not like everyone that plays the game like CPU. 
And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. I like I like uh Wrigley Field. That ends that series. We didn't finish it last episode. We probably could have, but I'm trying to keep these short because I gotta like I said in the last episode, I gotta pump up like pump out like a bunch in like two days. He's on a good run. What are you seeing lately? Well, I think the biggest thing that I'm seeing is confidence. You know, this guy has developed and developed the correct way, and he's up there, and he's playing at a high level. He's got big-time confidence, mental toughness, too. You don't get to that level without being mentally tough. This kid's showing absolute mental toughness that, he's, that, that, that he can play at this level and really succeed. I think that's the, that's the biggest thing I see from him right now. Mental toughness makes you a career 302 hitter. Case okay, so Now the biggest separator for him is, is being a flash in the pan or being a long-term player in, in this league and how he's going to handle the adjustment the leagues make to him the second and the third time they see him, right? Well, that's the great thing about this game of baseball. It's the greatest game in the world. It's a big game of chess, right? Because you're going to have success, and then they're going to watch video. They're going to figure out how to, how, to, how to go at you the next time differently. And guess what? So it's a game of adjustments. They make an adjustment to you. You make an adjustment to them. You're always continuously making adjustments in this game. And that's what's so beautiful about the game of baseball. The old cat and mouse game that we all love. I appreciate that from them. It's definitely, I'm thinking, I'm probably just going to grind out the bullpen. Um, we could, ooh, I see, we could do the cutter. You guys know I, I kind of wanted the cutter in the sinker combo. Let's do it. Let's do the cutter. Let's do it. Eventually, we'll get to add... The, the fourth pitch and fifth pitch. We just got to upgrade that archetype. Probably won't get that done for a while, though. We gonna... What's happening here? Center today. Probably get a pitching performance in here soon. Yeah, it's gonna be weird. I'm gonna miss so much and he's like... Because I'm going on a trip, so I'm gonna miss like two weeks. And I won't be able to grind or anything. Hopefully, I'm going to ask a friend if he could uh, maybe take over for me a little bit. Do some daily moments and stuff, I think. Because I'd like that Sandoval, but... Otherwise, I don't know. I'm gonna be way behind the Indian program, way behind in, like, the Affinity, Team Affinities. Good thing in the Team Affinities, though, like, you can catch up at any time, really. Because you can do... You don't need to, like, pick a certain season. It just, like, does it for all of them, which I think is really neat, but... Gives him a lot of Still gonna be quite a bit behind. We're we've calmed down our diamond diamonds the uh, grind. Since like last two months, it's really really started playing some other games, enjoying myself a little bit more. But I've really been on the grind of this game for like crazy last year, two three months. And, ooh, we gotta leave that. Gotta leave that. Too low. That's that's bad pitch. To take shape on those long cross country trips. Let's see how this team plays today. Three and one to him now. Man, I really like our stadium though. It's really grown on me. And this one misses He's a, got the walk. Scared to pitch to me. So here's Trey Mancini. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. I was confused. I was actually going to steal there, too. Those are two odds or whatever, but... Good thing I did. Did he get it? Did he? Nah, not even close. I thought he got it. Kind of just died in the air, though. More of a pop-up. Next to bat Fly for the on, Giants, Luis Basada. I think they got the lead on the Giants, but six six games entering play. yeah, just like looking around in the outfield too. You just looking at everything in the stadium. You can see all the little features and stuff. I don't know. I think it's really cool. Four to zero. Six still having a rough time. It's pretty good too. Three.
Hopefully we can get out of this. Looks like we got one more on. Still bad. Basabe. That's an interesting name. That looked like it was gone off the bat. He'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the so they pick up three. So two away for the Giants here in the fourth, <laughs> and that'll bring in Tommy Lestella. Hopefully, on my trip though, I'm excited. Hopefully, I could uh, establish a sleep a sleep schedule and a real like schedule, so I'm not recording my videos at like three, four in the morning. Because honestly, I wake up and I'm so lazy because it's summer, and I just procrastinate making my videos. And it's like, if I could just like, I literally could make, I could wake up, maybe take like an hour to like eat, wake up fully, record my videos, edit a little bit, make a thumbnail, and boom, and it takes like half an hour at most. <laughs> and I could do that every time. Uh -huh. Let's double play. But we could easily do that, and we just don't. You know, I just sit there on my phone or something, or watching baseball or practicing baseball, which isn't you know, that bad, but I don't spend too much time doing that. Like, I still would have time out of the day with all those activities, and it's just like, I don't, and then I wait, and then I, like, ooh, we gotta leave that. Then I go to the gym at, like, midnight. Because yeah, we hate people, then that we just right avoid people. Nice it, I just think it's super weird. Just going to the gym with people. This is my opinion. But maybe if like it was like a planet, like if it was a big gym, like a Planet Fitness or something, or like one of those big gyms, like ones that are like big companies and like like you know big gyms, like a lot of square feet, like just. Huge, like rows of like uh, uh, treadmills and like ellipticals. Oh, I need to check that. I don't know how. I didn't even check it. But and but our local gym is just like a little like. Oh, we're swinging at. What a great, great eye right now. Our local gym's just like a small little, almost like a little, little, like house. It's just like a makeshift gym. A little bigger than like, I don't know, it's like, yeah, it's like pretty small gym and, and everyone is like within like 50 feet vicinity of you, so it's just kind of weird. So we just try to go and there's no one there. So I go at like midnight, get done like, get home at like 1.32, usually... Procrastinate. What am I doing? Like, okay, I thought I was doing that stupid thing that happened last episode. Um. Yeah, and then get home like 132. Maybe procrastinate a little more. Just sit on my phone, watch some YouTube. Then. Oh, we're not getting into that. Oh, it's hanging. What the? There's not a single green arrow. What the? What just happened? What just happened? I don't know. Stepping in once again is number two. Oh my god. We'll see what he can do with the time run at second. Oh my god. Honestly, let's just squeeze. Let's squeeze. Okay, this guy He's really weird and kinda nasty. He has a slider. I don't know why he doesn't in this game. But he's slow and we can really jump on him. We're good with slow pitchers. What? Dude, that's never called a strike. Never. Dude, I'm, I might jump on a pitch here. We've got to be our pitch. It's got to be perfect. Nope. Let's go. Hey, hey, we didn't really want to walk because now they can go any bag and have more chances for outs, but, like, now we got two runners to score in position, there's, no, dude, are you disabled, oh my god, he might walk him, he might walk him, 
Dude, he walked him home! Oh my god, it's tied. Dude, dude, Victor Reyes, please, I beg you. Dude, 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 dude. Get there! Oh my god, that was so close to getting by the first baseman. Dude, that's so tough. We tied it, though. We tied it. Oh my god, really? We're going for it. We're going for Can we get that? No, he's got 80 speed. We're actually close. We're actually close. Okay, hey, can we get the double inning or extra inning? Darn. Would have liked to bat in the extras there, though. Hmm. Two walks. That's definitely not typical for us, but got the win. Um, we'll play one more quick one because we're in center. If we we're pitching, I would say. Oh, I don't want it. I don't know. The minimum I would do is like maybe like 17, maybe 18 minutes on this episode. So like. I don't know. In the air out to probably field. just uh, should probably fill one more in. Number two is there, and he makes the Eliezer's in. Or Eli Eliezer, whatever. I don't know. So but next to bat will be number two. First he had a very tough game last time he was in. We got like I don't know. It was bad. Three sixty nine. We we'll finally find him like a uh, like an average for us, more like something we're sitting at, like not just we're not floating around so much. We're finally kind of like floating. We're still floating around, but we're like we're floating around like 360, 380. Which we're finally like kind of finding a spot. We're not just like 350, 420, something like that. Like game by game, it still happens a little, but. So I go like 4 for 4, 0 oh for 4 or something. Especially like 4 for 4 or something, or like 5 for 5. It would, it would jump probably to 500 where we are now, but... Or 400, not 500, but... Got a piece of that, I don't think it's going. See that? It's so stupid, weird. It's not stupid, but it's weird, because like... That's good timing. With like, good hitting stats. And good PCI placement. And it's like a weak fly ball to right field. And I've seen people like hit that exact same pitch and their PCI just barely clips it and it's like a home run. And it's just weird. I don't know. I don't really get it. I got a piece of that. I don't think it's leaving though. Maybe. He's going to jump. Yes, sir. Dead center. 409, baby. I, I didn't think that was leaving off the bat. Another home run for us. We're on this, like, crazy home run hitting streak right now. We're just hitting nuke after nuke. That was dead center. That was hot. That was a high home run. I like it. Got the lead. Cracked it open. Yeah, I really like the stadium. I like it day, night. I mean, it's, just, it's just really nice with the stadium. It's crazy how much detail they put into these two. Like, they got pretty much everything. Uh oh. Let's rob it. Oh, uh, I swerved a little bit there because I thought I was going to have to like swerve around a little, but I might have cost this. Well, two home runs, both the same spot. It's 1-1. Pitcher's, uh, pitcher and defense game. We are the rookie of the month, by the way. I forgot to mention that. I heard that in, like, two episodes ago. Rookie of the month. August rookie of the month. That's crazy. We just start away another home run. Oh, my God. What are you doing throwing a low fastball, dude? Did you not just see the one I crushed? Like... Two innings ago? Like, what you doing, pal? What are you doing? 
God, they gotta stop throwing me those low fastballs, man. Crush those. You know that. I was in no doubter, like, before I even swung. Second home run of the game right there. He is Another. In their the second so multi-home run game. Players talk about this happened on, like, well, he is five episodes. That was, like, a liner that got height. It was just, like, the perfect home run. 432 into that little, like, crowd partners thing. Cracked it. Cracked it. New pitcher in. Got a 12 6, really, only nothing to worry about. That's unorthodox. When I say unorthodox, like a pitch that most people don't have, looks like we're up 5 1 now. So that's nice. But, so like, if it's like a screwball or a splitter, or like a 12 6, or like a, a slurve, or like a Vulcan change, or like a knuckleball, even. Something like that is kind of what, like, uh. He walks me at four pitches. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Take off, man. Dude, I got hit. I should probably shoot, though. No, let's go back. Oh, my God. What am I doing? <laughs> I was uh, just, like, goofing around there. I probably should have, but I, was, I don't know. I was debating, and then I was like, maybe I shouldn't go, maybe I should. Because I don't know if he was going to go home or not. He did. He was barely safe, but... Just try to quick, make sure he doesn't, uh... Try to go four there. Ray Aguirre. 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 Scored seven and one in. Crazy. This guy throws a little harder. Curveball slider change up. A little harder than previous pitchers. But nothing too crazy. That's a good pitch to swing at. Wasn't really uh, ready that one. Okay. If you're going to do any damage okay, with that dude. pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out. Right On the stadiums, too, they add like that. MLB The Show, somewhere in them, I'm pretty sure. I think I've seen it most. I'm like, I don't, you know, I don't think they're there. In real life, they just add them in the game. I think it's pretty cool. Like they got that red neon sign in the left field. I think that's a cool feature. Wow, that's a good pitch. Is that just his curveball? Yeah. That thing dropped. That's a good pitch. First time I've seen it. Especially he's just like fastball, 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 and drop and curve. That's nice pitch. Two for two, or two for four, two home runs. Pretty solid game for us. We got a lot of pluses and stuff. Cool, cool. But, ooh, didn't do that again. But, that's going to wrap up this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and sub, please. I like that. But, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.